Page 22, Bersus. It's a very famous piece of music, a very famous melody. It's not really a piano solo. It's written for other things, but there's various piano solo arrangements of it. And it's a nice piece. You get an idea what it sounds like. 3-4 time, no sharps or flats at first, but it's going to change that. We'll, we'll deal with that later. Right hand first at the beginning is not too bad. Just play all this legato. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, and two. One, two. And all these eighth notes. Just play them even and legato. Fingering actually is kind of nice. There's a standard fingering for doing these coming down. Uh, you run across it, and it's not hard, you should do it with both hands, but this is fine. Then four, that's good. So I don't see a problem there. Let's go to the top of page 23. Up here. Sounds a little empty, but that's really it. And, and connect all these together with the fingers. So legato, and then down here. That is a dotted half note, hold it down. You can't hold it down all the way because you got to play it again. And then third. And here the C is tied, so hold it down as you just add the G to it. In most arrangements, it's played against, not tied. But here it is. Five. And then here. And the left hand catches one note and the right hand up here. And the E is tied and just here. And then we get into the doll oh, that's just kind of introductory. You see the two double the double bars and now we're in the one flat. That's in the here. One, two, and it's common time, four four time. One, two, three, four, one, two. Hold that down, it's tied as you're doing all this other stuff. Set next line. One. The idea is we want it legato and we need the thumb on that A. And the see the dash line goes down? It's telling you the melody is going down. But you can if you want play that with with the right hand and hold it down and here, or you can play with the left hand. I'll come back to that. You get a choice there. But the dotted line simply means the melody is going down there. And then the next line you get the same thing. Make sure you're holding all these notes down the full length with the fingers as best you can. On page 24 there were three stabs again. You yeah, just got a lot of it. But the right hand is doing the middle stab. So we're... And then come down and see the, dot, the dashed lines again? They're telling you that's melody. See, some publishers will do this and some don't. Some you have to figure it out yourself. Where did the, the melody go? And they're here, they're telling you. Some people think, well, that means you got to play that with the other hand. No, that's not what that means. It just means the melody's going down this. And, and hold that C down as you add the E and C to it. And now bass clef and hold that E. The whole note down as you play. And then lift up. Rest. Rest. But here, see, there's no rest or nothing. You gotta go from here to here. Good luck with that. And the melody went down below again. And then you know, hold that down. And then up here. And then here, you move around in this nice. Oh boy. Last line. Bass clef. Hold the D down, it's tied. And then I'll come back to the wavy line in a minute. Right now we just want the E and the B flat. You can do it. I mean, you're there if you want, or here. I don't care. The pedal will help you out. And then for the last two measures, it's an A and an F. You can do it 2 5 or 1 5 because you're here. That's fine too. You don't have to move as far. For the left hand, make it all legato. And their fingering is fine. It's a two on that. And third. 
thumb under. I do a two here, but you can do a three. Just you got to come down for the beat. And we want an oligano with the fingers here. And then you're playing a couple more Bs. Remember, we're still in treble clef. Now, the, at the end there, you go to bass clef. Uh, and this is melody, because you the dotted line going down. We talked about that. Here. And then it's top page 23. This is still melody. And then we got the chords. I come back to those. You get a rest between each one and then the eyes. You're doing wonderful. And then the last couple me. And you do have to play that one D, that one eighth note, but we'll come back to that one and put the hands together. Next line, legato, rest, rest, oh boy. Now finally, so what's the fingering? We want a legato. And the C is tied, hold it down as you play the G, the next measure. I need to do that some more. Rest on page 24 with the three staves. Again, the left hand gets to go crazy. Go to the end of the first line. You're here. And here. Notice the F is, is tied to the next F. So the pedal will help you out here. You don't play at the first of the begin, uh, the first of the second line. You don't play that F. You hold down the previous F. It's tied. So you just here, two, three, four, one, two. So you're staying here and waiting for the rest to get by to do that. Then you come down to the G. But that G's tight, so you're only gonna play it once. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like so, careful. And then you go on. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. If you don't wanna do that, you can do that. But that thumb's fine. And, and then treble clef. Bass clef. Last line here. I prefer a three on the G. That puts me closer to the octave. And the left hand has to play that top note, which is a G. And then the right hand's going to do the next quarter note, and the left hand's down here. And then you come down and play the last note. I don't care which figure you use, it's an F. Whatever. Put the hands together. This should be interesting. It sounds empty at first, but it's supposed to. I mean, he wrote it this way. It's not my fault. Now you have to work this out again to make sure it's all legato with the fingers. No hesitations or nothing. All that junk. Let's start the second line here. So that second line with these eighth notes going crazy, just take it really, really, really super slow. This second line here, you may have to go back to one hand at a time. Just follow their fingering. I want it all legato. Here and then here. So work that out because it's different figures in each hand. They're all doing their own little pattern and it's all blech. Can't speak for you, but this piece right here with this fingering is extremely difficult for me. I have to work and work and work and work and get that. Well, let's go on. Third line, you're here. That's a hold. You're going to hold that. If I, just hang on to it and then you go on. Take each, it's the same note, but the hands are taking turns. This has to be sound like one hand played it all. So it's connected. And the melody is here. Because this is like you had at the beginning. It's, it's a sort of a background setting. Yep, okay, go on. This is the middle of the first line on 23 here. And this. Just roll them. One. I play.
play the bottom note on the beat. Other people will play the top note on the beat. Whatever. But I hold the left hand down. Now lift the half left hand. Melody is the top note in the right hand. Connect these eighth notes. To me, it's so awkward. I don't know why they want you to do that. To, why? It's whichever. I mean, it's not just because an editor tells you the notes should be played with one hand or the other doesn't mean that's the way it has to be. There's no rule that says that. Some teachers teach that. Oh, you have to play it with that hand. It's, no, you don't have to play it with that. And when they do something like this, I'm thinking, what are you thinking? What are you drinking, I should say? Because to just one one note, well, yes, there's times when we do arpeggios and one hand will just do one note to help the other hand out. And that's sort of what they're doing here. But if it's easier for you to play two notes on the left hand, then play the E with the uh, here. That's fine too. You can do two notes if you want. And that, again, a roll chord. I play the bottom note on the beat. You do it however you think is right. And hold all those down as you play the G. You're just changing it here. And then we get into the new melody. That's the right hand. See this quarter note the, here? That's part of this arpit broken. It's like one hand played it, except they're letting the other hand do it. See here, you can play it with. This is the next to the last line on page 23. The last two measures. The A and the G are melody. You can play it with the left hand. You make sure you bring it out. Or you can play it with the right hand. Hold it down. And then do the G. If you want. Whichever is easier for you. So that the last three measures there on that line is here. I can do it with each, either thumb. I don't care. If I do it with the right hand, it's... I do it all with the left hand. Whichever way you want to do it. You need to be able to do it either way because some pieces you need one and the other pieces you need another. So this is good practice. And then the last line you're back to the Again with this quarter notes is part of the broken chord. Now those are together. Then on page 24, it's here. And here, again, that's melody. Hold that C down. Now we're back to this mess again with the three stas. So th this is what we want to hear. Come back into civilization again. The last line. The D is tied. Hold it down. And then the chord. And here. Go ahead and hold these notes down. We'd hold them all down if we could, but we can't because the left hand has to move. And then come up and here. And again, I play those rolled chords bottom note on the beat, but you do it however you think is right, or however your teacher tells you to do, whichever. As far as articulation goes, this is fairly legato throughout. Let's go ahead and do the dynamics and the pedal all together, or this video will last forever. So we're only going to pedal at certain places we need to help us connect the notes, because we can't do it with the hands, and sometimes we're going to do it to add color by 
when you have the pedal it adds the overtones which changes the tone and adds color is what we said. At the beginning it's very soft and it's really both hands are the same here. You don't have one hand louder than the other at this part. I'm going to play the note first and then the pedal at the beginning and this is just for color because we don't need it to help connect the notes. We can do that with our fingers. See one of the things with about using pedal a lot of times is when you have longer held notes you'll use pedal on those notes to help color them. You know? Otherwise they just sit there and blah. So it's here. And then release the overtones and then release the overtones and then here. And this should be soft or very soft, whichever. And we've had all this before. There's no pedal here. It's all soft. It's all legato and all that. Uh, Last line, now you have a retardando. We're still soft, very, actually very soft. And again, we want color here. It's a long held note. We use the pedal. Lift the pedal up before you go on. This is moderately loud. And we add pedal here for the color. We don't need it for legato, it's just for color. And then we go on, legato. we're doing it more to connect the C's. It also adds color. Uh, connect the D's here. You lift it up on the C. And down again. Again, leave it down legato. Again, you don't need pedal here, but we want the overtone. So we add pedal and then lift it up before I do the C. Just adding color to the long notes is all we're doing. And here, we don't want to smear this, but we want it. We want it, this to ring out. So we're holding it down as, as long as we can without the smear. You have to listen. I lift it when I play the E. And here, and then legato. And lift it up before we go on. It's a new section. And all of that part up there was either very soft or moderately loud there toward the end. But this part here needs to be gentle. I would suggest about moderately soft to soft in that area for the melody. Keep the left hand very soft. And I'm only pedaling the first two beats. I'm lifting up on beat three here. One. Legato. Here we don't pedal because it would smear it if we did. Legato here and then again. On page 24, again here. Lift it up when I play the B natural. It's down and then lift it up when I play the E and then down and I legato pedal this. There's no melody here, it's all soft and now melody. Two beats of rest, silence and then it's here. This is all legato with the pedal. We want lots of overtones until you get to here. Legato, legato. And how fast you roll these chords. It depends on the situation. Not all roll chords are the same speed. Here I would go slow. And then, and I lift it up when I play the F. And then I put it down again. I want. I don't want to break in the sound at the end. Good the the. It's got to flow all the way to the end. I want to connect the F to the sound. I just I pedal that. 
So the last three measures are two, me three measures here. Pedal this, and then I change it here. So the F is by itself, but I still have the pedal going. That's a personal thing. That's just, and then change it after I play the F in the rolled chord. And that would be slow. And this is also very soft. I don't know. And then a very, very soft at the end. You can use soft pedal if you need to. Otherwise, just real soft. And that's just an, it's an easy stroke. When I'm playing, it's just, I don't go straight down. I come at an angle at the key and that makes the key go down slower and that gives a softer tone. So you can actually get it so slow the hammer doesn't even hit the string. But you can get it really soft. It depends on the piano. You have to practice. But practicing playing really super soft is a, really a, a, a skill you need in piano. Don't use the soft pedal because you can't play it soft with the fingers is what I'm saying because no, that's not the reason for using a soft pedal. Learn to do it with the fingers. The soft pedal, at least on a grand, it changes the tone. And that's okay, because this is so soft, you can change the tone on the end. In fact, you could use the soft pedal right there on the whole notes, the, the roll chord. Here, if you wanted to. And mix them all together. Speed-wise, it's about how I went. It's, 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 it's a nice, it's a cradle song. You, you're putting somebody to sleep with this.